What's going on guys, Ozu here, welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, Verdi Winter Refresh card has just came out. It's obviously in the League SBCs that it cost me around, I would say, 225k to 250k. So quite an expensive card, so I'm hoping it will be pretty good. 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 86 shooting, 85 passing, 61 physical, 52 defending. He looks like an outstanding left mid, to be fair to you. Now, the one thing I'd probably love to improve there is maybe he's shooting a little bit more just to get him that, you know, that kind of that kind of hit to him that if he does shoot, it's 100% going to go in. Now, he is 5'7", so he is in side meta height. He is obviously high medium, the perfect attacking work rate. Four-star skill moves, which means I'm going to be able to do the Berber or the standard scoop turn. No five-star skill moves, so no flip flaps, but it's okay, it's okay. Now, the five-star weak foot is going to be nice because I'm going to be able to cut onto his right and I'm going to be able to shoot with it. Hopefully, he's one of those five-star weak foot players that are going to get the same animations that he does with his left and he does with his right, obviously. Now, he is obviously on sniper chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Quite fast, to be fair to him. I'm not going to lie. Now, pace-wise, he should be up pacing centre-backs fairly easily. He also has 94 attack and positioning. 93 finishing, 95 shot power, 90 long shots, and 97 volleys, and 95 penalties. Shooting stats look insane. Now, the one thing I'm liking is that he does have the ship shot trait, but he doesn't have the outside foot shot or the finesse shot. But at the same time, it shouldn't matter too much because how good his finishing stats really are, they, he shouldn't have a problem. Now, he has got 83 short passing, 80 long passing, 89 curve, 8, 85 vision, 87 crossing, 89 free kick actually. Passing wise, look insane. Vision is going to help with that long passing. Going to probably boost it up a little bit. Now, that swerve pass should be fairly easy as well. That 89 curve. The short passing and the link up place to give and go should be very nice. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. 99 agility. 99 balance. 87 reactions. 93 ball control. 95 dribbling. And 87 composure. Dribbling st stats look out of this world, literally. He should be turning inside and out fairly easily. He should feel very agile on the ball. He shouldn't be doing any falling over animations. He shouldn't be taking any bad touches. EA, if you screwed up something with this card, there will be problems, 100%. Now, he has 80 stamina, which is a bit of a downgrade for an attacker, especially. If it was like a centre-back of 80 stamina, no problem at all. But because it's an attacker, he's going to be up and down the pitch like very, very fast. So, he needs that stamina. And I don't think 80 stamina is going to last throughout the 90. Now, he has got 52 strength and 55 aggression, which means he's going to be getting body off the ball. He is 5 for 7, he is very small, and probably like a player like, I don't know, Virgil van Dijk, David Luiz, all these players that have, you know, really, really good cards, they will most likely dominate him if he gets near to him. But this is what we're here for. We're here to review the card and see actually if that's true. Now, I have linked him up today with Barella. I've also got a player review out on him. So if you guys missed it, link in the description. I've also got the likes of Ilicic, Luis Alberto, and Politano in the team. Don't worry, I will be using that Politano, the one that plays for Napoli, soon. I'm, I'm literally going to be doing it, not while, obviously, we're playing this, but off camera when we're uploading, pretty much. Now, I will be using Verdi in a 4-4-2. I want to play him, I want to play him up front because his shooting stats are insane. But I am going to be playing him down the wing as well. So I'll try him in the 4-2-3-1 and play him at Lamb as well. But let's get straight into these games. Uh, let's see that pace game to play. Come on. Nice. Go around the corner. Little ball roll. Cut back. Fake shot again. Ball roll once again. Have the little shot. Oh, just couldn't get it away. Very nice defending for my opponent, obviously. But at the same time... He feels very, very agile. The way he's turning inside out. I like how his fake shots there weren't a running fake shot. It was more of a cut-in so I can get a perfect angle. He has got Van der Sar in goal, so it is going to be a hard game. Beautiful fake shot. Ball roll. He still got it somehow. Beautiful drag back and it's a beautiful finish with that strong foot. The left foot. Unbelievable. Now, I did get a little bit lucky. To obviously get into the situation. But there was no doubt about his drag back there. That drag back was super, super fast. And that finish. My God. Van der Sar's not saving that one. I'll tell you that. Little give and go. What a run. It is just going to be offside. I love the amount of pace that I'm seeing from him right now. The little LBAs with him to Politano. And obviously him. Is unbelievable. He's just using so much pace to get past them centre backs right now. And, A, he's making beautiful runs. But that time, it was just slightly offside. Another amazing run. I'm loving his runs right now. On to his stronger foot. Maybe I should have finessed that. I should have been a bit more calm. 
I didn't really expect Van der Sar to be coming out like that. But obviously, uh, my opponent caught me off guard. It was going to be a beautiful finish, to be fair to him. But I should have finessed it. It's so hard to get the ball off him. That's seared off. That's no, like, that's no one to mess about with. Unbelievable. Oh, if he could have thread the needle there through that little gap, that would have been crazy. But, hey, look how agile he is. You can kind of see how comfortable I feel with him, the way I'm turning inside out of players. Drag back. Use that pace to get into that space. Ooh. Well, I have noticed that he is fast, I must say, but it takes quite a while to him to accelerate. And I don't really know why, because his acceleration is really, really high. But I've noticed that. I don't know. I'm not 100% why, though. I'm going to try to obviously figure out. Use that pace. Oh, this time it was great acceleration. Can I get a little cheeky pass? It was a decent pass, but I wanted a bit more, I don't know, a bit more curve on it, if you know what I mean. I wanted it to go round the player so we could have an easy shot. I have no idea what my opponent has just done. I think he is lagging, and I need to start finessing these shots because he brings out a keeper. When a player brings out a keeper like this, you need to finesse it, and that's what I'm going to start doing. Ready? Quick turn. Quick finesse. As I said, if he's going to bring out a keeper, that's what you need to do. You need to get the angle of the finesse shot and just finesse it past him every single time. Because I know a lot of people bring out a keeper to obviously minimize the chances of the ball going in simply because it gives you a tighter angle. But at the same time, if you go for that finesse shot, it's going to go in every single time. But look at this. What a finish. Now, nah, that, that's what I should have been doing 100%. It was a beautiful turn as well. It's a great touch, to be fair to him. Fakes you around the corner. Little chip wide open. We all saw that back stick. We all saw it back stick to Sancho. We all saw it. Now, is that because I haven't put enough power into it? Most likely. But it also could rely on, you know, him not having the greatest little lob, uh, lob through or, you know, lob to the back stick. So I don't know about that one. Beautiful. Get that finesse off yet again. He's rushing out the keeper. And what did I say? Finesse it. If the guy's rushing out the keeper, finesse it. Because it will go in. It gives the keeper a, like, I would say a 10% chance of him actually saving it. And that's what you just need to do. Get the angle to the finesse. And I must admit, his finesse shots, they're nice. Very, very nice. He hits him into the corner and he can hit it with either foot. For example, he just hit it with his uh, weaker foot, which is always going to be nice. Ooh, I love his pressure. The amount of pace he uses to accelerate towards the player. I like that a lot. Simply because it kind of puts your opponent under pressure. And obviously, it it goes into pretty much mistakes like you just saw. Nice little one-two. I'm going to actually try a chip here. Didn't really come out clutch. I like the li little link-ups between Politano, though, and, uh, and Verdi. It's very, very nice. Beautiful cutback. Now... Should I? I should, probably should have shot near post there, right? With the left foot, it's the stronger foot. Shoot a cross goal into the near into the near post, or I could have probably finessed that, and it would have been good. Me talking about how good these finesses are, and I'm not, I just apparently stopped doing them. Beautiful movement, left foot with the finesse. Wasn't great, was it? Let's all be fair now. Now that finesse, I don't know. The last two finesses, it was really, really good. It was into the corner. It was high. There was no chance of the keeper saving it. But at the same time, I feel like that's a decent angle. And players like, you know, Lionel Messi or something like that will probably score that. Politano. Quick turn. On to stronger foot. My God. Sorry, stronger foot. Weaker foot. My God. To hit a shot like that with your weaker foot, it's something you don't see every day. And I can tell he's got the, exactly the same animations that he does with his left foot that he does with, with his right. And that is unbelievable. That was a strike and a half. And I can't believe that went in. The amount of power, the accuracy. <laughs> Hand up for that one, I guess. Sitting in the open. Little one-two if I can. Beautiful. Can I get a shot? That was an amazing tackle from the defender. But look at the Politanos at Verdi link up. It's unbelievable. That little drag back while passing gave me the passing option. I love these two up front right now. It's unbelievable to see. Beautiful. Can I get a turn? Can I get a power shot with that weaker foot? An unbelievable finish. That little little turn is crazy. He's so, so good at it. The little touch and turn into the movement. I don't know why he's that close to the camera, but Jesus Christ. Look at this. 
an absolute rocket with the weaker foot once again. He's gave it away in a stupid position and this guy shushed me on that second goal. So you already know what we're going to do. If someone shushes you, you do it exactly back. And this guy's not getting away with this 100%. It's a great turn. Just thread it. There you go. Straight to Sancho. I love his passing, man. It's so good. Beautiful pass. Can I get a finish with the weaker foot? It's a five star. This guy shushed me. So you already know what's going to happen. A beautiful, beautiful finish from Verdi. I don't doubt he's finishing at all, man. Honestly, left foot, right foot. The guy can do it all. And this is what happens. This is what happens when you shush someone. I'm trying to do a play view. I'm trying to test my guy out. And this guy's taking this game way too serious. So it is time to review him. And let me say... Seven goals in two games. The guy is a goal machine and I have no doubt about it. Five foot seven, perfect meta height, high medium work rates, perfect, perfect work rates. I can't believe the amount of runs, the good runs and the amount of times he was coming short in good times to come short. He was making his movement off ball is crazy. Four star skill moves, very nice. I noticed that his heel to heel though goes a bit further than normal. So that's a bit of an issue. But other than that, the four star skill moves, the Berber spin was unbelievable on him. The five star weak foot, hands down. Hands down. Sorry, hands, hands down. Hands up. Anyway, so five star weak foot is just crazy. You shoot the left foot, shoot the right foot. Same animation, same power, same finishing. Unbelievable. Uh, acceleration. One thing I had a problem with was his acceleration time to time. He wasn't accelerating how I wanted him to accelerate. Because 92 acceleration, he didn't feel like that. Sometimes he felt like he had like 87 or 86. But at the same time, there was other times that he was doing it. But there was some times that he wasn't doing it. So you might have an issue with that if you want to get this card. Finishing, unbelievable. One of the best finishers I've not... Well, I, I play with you know, a lot of players, I ain't going to lie. But he has got an outstanding finish, that's what I'll say. Now, short passing, really nice. I like the way he passes. One thing I had a tiny, tiny bit of an issue was the long passing. It wasn't going as far as I wanted it to go. But there was times that it was pinpoint perfect. And his passing is outrageous. Agility-wise, unbelievable on the ball. Moving left and right. No one can tackle him. Stamina-wise, was a bit of a problem near the 75th minute. So we have to obviously look into that and think... Uh, you kind of have to have a you kind of get a super sub for this guy and probably Daniel James is probably the best super sub for him now strength wise I didn't see him get bodied he was fighting for the ball and a 55 aggression I personally think that's a lie so I'm gonna have to give this card a rating out of 10 I liked him a lot he scored a lot of goals I'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10 the reason I'm not gonna give him a 10 out of 10 is because I feel like a 10 out of 10 player has to have stamina and last round the 19th minute but other than that, this card is insane. And if you guys can afford him, go get him right now, please. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.